In this demonstration, we're going to look at plastic deformation of a polycrystalline FCC metal, in this case copper. And in particular, we're going to focus on work hardening. So in this very simple experiment, basically I'm just going to take a copper bar and bend it. So this bar has been annealed, which has caused it to recrystallize, so it's got a low dislocation density. So I'm going to take the bar and I'm going to bend it. And you can see that despite me not being terribly strong, this is quite easy for me to do. But if I try and bend it back again, you can see that it's much more difficult. So to show just how much more difficult it is, I've got a volunteer, someone who's much stronger than me, and he's going to come and give it a go. <laughs> Thank you. So what actually happened inside the material when I bent it was that I started to create lots and lots of new dislocations and then these then interact with each other to form tangles and jogs. This in turn makes the dislocations a lot less mobile and it makes continued plastic deformation much more difficult. So in this simulation we're going to see a model of plastic strain occurring within a cube of copper and the cube of copper is about a micron in each dimension uh, so that's about a thousand atoms in each direction and 10 to the 9 atoms overall. So in the simulation, we're going to apply a tensile stress horizontally to the sample, so that's perpendicular to the notches. And as the video moves forward, you'll see that plastic, that plastic strain is occurring. So you can see that the material starts with no dislocations, uh, and as the video starts, you'll see rows of atoms appearing, and these represent uh, the cores of dislocations. And then these cores of dislocations will move around. Um, so, for example, if it was a pure edge dislocation, the row of atoms that you see would be the bottom of the extra half plane of atoms. So to start off with, they're going to be created at the notches and then move around. So the video will show a three-dimensional perspective view with the viewpoint changing throughout the video. As soon as the video starts, you'll see lots and lots of dislocations forming and spreading throughout the material. And then these will interact and form, and form tangles and jogs. And you'll see that very soon, actually, most of the dislocations really aren't moving around very much anymore. So the video is going to restart uh, and we'll zoom in on one of the notches. And you'll see how the dislocations form and spread. And if we pause the video here, then you can see that actually most of the dislocations aren't single rows of atoms. They actually form these ribbons. And the reason for that is that the dislocations dissociate into partials. So there'll be a leading partial on one side and a trailing partial on the other. This bit in the middle is a stacking fault. And then that's relevant for work hardening because it affects things like cross-slip.